Hi there, I am back and I have a new product review to show you guys. I recently picked up this new Krupp's Electric Gooseneck Kettle. Um, what makes this one different from my other electric water kettle is it has the variable precise temperature control panel on it, where my Hamilton Beach glass one does not. Um, that one also, that plastic lid is always bothered me and now I'm to the point where, you know what, I'm ready to move on and get something else that has no plastic touching the water at all, even in the form of steam. So this is my new one. Um, so far, I'm liking it quite a bit. It has this really nice, precise gooseneck um, spout, it's, which is wonderful for pour-over type of coffee brewing. I also love it for making my matcha tea because that way I don't splash too much water in the cup all at once to get the tea powder mixed and um, lump free, if you will. Um, it, it really has some nice features. So let me get the box out of the way and show you what the kettle looks like. Okay, um, isn't this a beaut? I just have to say, I think this is a beautiful design. Um, the kettle is, is a wonderful construction. I do like Krups, I will say. I've had a few of their products over the years. And I've never had complaints about them. So um, knock on wood, <laughs> that, that continues. So here's what we have. We have all stainless steel. Now I have the light, overhead light turned off over this uh, where I'm filming because it is so bright. And I don't want to hear any more complaints about all the... <laughs> about all the reflection because the base of this unit is like a mirror it is so shiny and you'll be able to see the readout with the light off so this is the inside of the lid no plastic whatsoever um, some of them put like little plastic nubs of some kind in here or to cover the screws I don't understand the logic of that uh, the handles plastic but that's on the outside so you know that has no bearing on the uh, on the water here here is the kettle. This is a beautifully built kettle. It is a double wall construction of stainless steel brushed. The gooseneck is very, very strong. Some of them I, that I looked at wasn't so much loose, but they were flexing, and I thought, that can't be good. <laughs> this one is in there very, very firmly. There is no gasket inside. I don't think you can see it. I'll try... If you can see where it's, you know, over on this side here, it is a press fitting. Uh, so there's no rubber gasket plastic of any kind in there. In fact, the only other material that's in here, if you see that tiny little, if I put my hand in here, it'll get in the way. Uh, tiny little dot over there on the floor of the kettle. That is the thermometer, uh, the temperature gauge, and there's the tiniest, tiniest little silicone gasket on there and silicone is inert silicone doesn't bother me at all for cooking or baking or whatever um i'm not afraid to use silicone of any kind so as long as it's food grade we're good to go so let me give you a quick look see at the base and i'll bring this up now before it's plugged in all right so here are your controls um, this is a digital uh, readout right here so you'll see the temperature of the kettle and or the contents, meaning water, in real time. Um, you have a timer, which is very handy for pour-over coffee brewing methods. You have the plus and minus for raising and lowering the temperature to hone in on the exact temperature that you want the water to, to heat to. And then the start-stop button. It has an automatic keep warm function. So as soon as it reaches your designated your chosen temperature, it will automatically click over to keep warm. You'll get one beep signal to tell you that it's ready. So you can set this, turn it on, um, and walk away, and you'll hear that one beep. You'll know that your water is ready to go. And you don't have to come racing back to make your coffee or your tea immediately um, because it's not shutting off. It will hold that temperature for up to 30 minutes, which is a really nice feature. So let's plug it in to show you what this can do here. Now when I when you plug it in you'll hear one beep. Okay so I will put some water in the kettle and then we will get it boiling to show you uh, to show you how this works. Okay so I've got a little bit of water in the pot about halfway 
and I'm just going to lean you over here so we can see the see the, you can see the digital uh, readout much better with the light off. It's a very bright sunny day today too, so there's a lot of light coming in the kitchen today. So this 76 degrees that you're seeing here is real time. That's that it's reading the temperature of the water in the pot right now. And that's um, um, from getting it from the faucet. So when you turn it on. Well, actually, I take that back. Um, when you turn it on, and and if I hit the plus, it will show the, the readout of the temperature that I had it when the last time I used the pot, which was this morning for a bunch of tea, and it will read 175 degrees. Now, we want to bring it up to boil. So what I'm going to do is hit the plus. I'm not going to turn it on yet. You hit the plus. There, you can see the 175, and then you can go up in increments. If you hold it down, it goes up much faster. And we're going to take it all the way up to boiling temperature. This will default. When you first get it, it defaults. Now you can see boil flashing, and we're going to hit start. Um, it defaults at 200 degrees when you first um, get this up and running. So you can see it starts to build the temperature. All right, let me uh, let us get this straightened back out. All right, so we got it set up. You can see the temperature building. When you first, while that's uh, getting going onto the boil, I'll explain how this what what happens when you first get it. Um, the instruction manual will state, um, rinse it, you know, wash, rinse out the pot, and then you fill it to the max line, which is you know about two thirds of the way up. Uh, the side of the pot and you're gonna bring that to a full boil let it cool a little bit dump that out and then do it a second time and then it's ready to use at for any application so it's kind of like cleaning it priming it um, not really sure exactly <laughs> um, what to call that So what you get with this, obviously you get the kettle and the base and the owner's manual. And if you're a follower of my channel, here's the mantra, read the manual. Even if you only read it once, hang on to it, put it in a place where you know you can find it. So if you have any problems, you know, <laughs> you can look up what to do. If nothing else, the phone number to call them and have them walk you through it. All right, you can see it's not taking long at all to come up to temperature. Now, here's the interesting thing. When you set it for anything that's not the highest temperature, which is boiling, like, say, um, you, want it, you want it at 180 degrees, it will build like this quickly, and then as it gets closer, it will cycle down and stop and kind of creep up slowly so it doesn't shoot past it too hot and then have to cool itself down, which is really a cool feature. Um, I should mention, I don't think I, I mentioned it yet, um, the range, the temperature range that you have for adjusting is a minimum of 160 degrees Fahrenheit with a maximum of 212, which is boiling temperature. So I am going to, I'm going to pause this and we'll come back as soon as it hits the boil. It will beep one beep when it has reached its peak temperature okay that took about six minutes maybe just a millisecond before or after so it's actually pretty quick to boil my Hamilton Beach took somewhere between seven and nine minutes to come to boil now it is a bigger kettle but I think a big part of that is the material this is not just stainless steel which holds the heat better than glass but it's double wall construction so you can see that it's reached the boil and it's now kicked over you see the keep warm light is on um, so it's good to go so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you the precise pour so let me back this up just a little bit here let me get set up with our with our mug here 
All right, so let's, uh, I've got my Hario ceramic uh, uh, cone here with a paper filter. I don't have any coffee in here, as you can see, so I'm just going to demonstrate the precision of the pouring of this spout. It's really a nice, nice kettle. But total control, round the edges. So I'd be doing this to warm my cup and to... Uh, Rinse the filter, <laughs> basically. So I'd be ready. I should probably grind some coffee now to justify all this. So it's it's really a beautiful uh, upgrade, uh, if if you want to call it that. So yeah, it's it works fantastic. I I'm really really enjoying this kettle so far. It is. Um, oopsie. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, it is uh, fulfilled my needs uh, for making tea in the morning. I can't wait to try it. I, I still haven't tried it with loose leaf tea yet because I have one of those little um, one of those little loose leaf tea infusers that you just set down in the cup. It looks like a little silver cup, a little stainless steel cup with ultra, ultra fine mesh. So that's the only thing I haven't done with it yet. But, uh, but pour over and the tea, it works fabulous. I hope this uh, I hope this was helpful to you. Oh, I probably should add um, this. This is available on multiple websites in in a few stores. Um, it's available on websites like Bed Bath and Beyond, uh, Sur La Table, uh, and Williams Sonoma. It retails for one hundred twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, Amazon, you know, their prices are constantly fluctuating, as you may know, if you've ever shopped there. Right now, currently, as of the day of this review being shot in August of 2019, it was retailing for around $90. I found mine at, I did find one at, at uh, Home Goods. I bought mine at TJ Maxx for $59.99. So that's less than half the original retail price. Um, it's also the one twenty nine ninety nine on the Krupp's website. So usually it's higher there and then other stores adjust it. But it's that high almost everywhere else. So And that's actually a mid-range price for, for something with all these uh, functions. So I feel like I got a really good deal on it. Knock on wood, I hope it lasts for a while. But I'm having so much fun using it. So again, I hope this video is helpful to you. Please give me a thumbs up if you like my videos. And subscribe so you don't miss any new uploads. Have some tea or a great pour-over coffee and enjoy what's left of summer. Have a great day. Bye-bye.